Okay, so now let's compute the variance of uh, Ito's integral. Again, let's assume that t of k is less than or equal to t, less than or equal to t of k plus 1. Okay? And we now want to compute variance of Ito's integral. I just showed you that the expected value of Ito's integral is equal to 0. Hence, the variance formula becomes E of i square t. Right? Because the expected value of Ito's integral is equal to 0. Now, I just showed you the formula for calculating Ito's integral. Ito's integral is given by summation j equals 0 to k minus 1 delta of t of j w of t j plus 1 minus w of t j plus delta of t k w of t minus w of t of k. Okay, so now let's uh, denote, let's assume that d of j is equal to w t j plus 1 minus w of t j when 0 is less than or equal to j less than or equal to k minus 1 and is equal to w t minus w of t of k if j equals k. Basically what we're doing is this term here, this term here, we're denoting both by d of j's. Okay. If we do that, then our Ito's integral formula simplifies to summation of j equals to 0. Instead of k minus 1, now it will go to k delta of t j d of j. Okay. Now, in order to compute the variance, we basically need to square this and take the expected value. Okay, so if you square this, what, what will we get? e is integral square. This basically is a sum of these individual terms. So we'll get when we square this summation of 0 to k, square of these terms, sum of squares of these terms, tj dj square plus we'll get 0 is less than or equal to i less than j less than or equal to k and we'll get sum of cross terms okay two of those and the cross term would be delta of t of i delta of t of j d of i d of j okay so we want to basically square this and once this is basically a summation of many of these terms when we square them we're going to get summation of the squares plus the cross terms and that's what I've written here. Okay, now we want to figure out in order to calculate the variance we want to figure out the expected value of this. Right? So let's first focus on one of these terms right here and figure out what is the expected value of this particular term. Okay, so that's going to help us simplify the calculation. So you want to figure out what is the expected value of delta t of i delta t of j, d of i, and d of j. Okay? And here, we know that i is less than j. Okay? So this is important, that i is less than j. Less than j. Okay? If that's the case, what we can do is in order to compute this expected value, we can use iterated conditioning. We can use we can take this expectation and we can now take expected value of this condition on information available at t of j okay so basically this expectation we, we are this is the same as this expectation here all we're doing is applying iterated conditioning and we are taking expectation of this condition on information available at time j and then we are taking the full expectation so these two expectations as we've talked about they're going to be the same but this conditional expectation is going to help us simplify this problem now at time tj okay we already know the what the value of delta ti is as I said, i was less than j. So by the time we reach tj, we've already resolved this. Also at time tj, we know what the value of delta of tj is going to be, right? 
and di is also going to be known di is basically increment of a brownian motion di is going to be equal to w of w of ti plus 1 minus w of ti and since i is less than j that increment would also be resolved by the time we reach f of tj right so these three terms basically are known so this we can simplify as expected value of we'll take all of these three terms out of this expectation we'll get delta of ti delta of tj d of i and what we will be left with is expected value of d of j given information at time j okay but what is d of j d of j as i just said was increment of a brownian motion okay an increment of a brownian motion this would d of j would be d of j would be w of t j plus 1 dj is nothing but w of t of j plus 1 minus w of t of j and this increment is independent of information available in f tj right this is independent hence this expectation 